Yo, ho, ho. what up guys and welcome back to another one. You can tell where we're at. We're back out at the old Mythbuster shooting range. Y'all have missed the shotgun test Mythbuster style videos that we were doing for a long time. And the reason why they stopped was, well, the old 12 gauge TriStar. Yeah, it, it went bye bye as a lot of you know. But we do have to get to the pawn shop. We do have to buy us a new shotgun so we can start doing some videos like those. But today, we're out here for something completely different. It's a video that I've been wanting to do a long time and a lot of you have requested it a ton. Sorry guys, it's really windy out here and these trees are loud. But today, we're out here to see how far a shotgun is deadly. And for this test, I wanted to mix it up a little bit because today, we're gonna be using mason jars. Oh yeah, check out all these mason jars. They are uh, leftover jars from me and Beth's wedding. And we're gonna use the old 410 pump. And we're gonna use normal lead shot. This is actually six shot lead. And compared to the tungsten federal load. This is their TSS heavyweight load in 410. So, we're gonna see the difference. There should be a heck of a difference. But today, before we get started on all this fun stuff right here, I have to tell you guys, today starts the Ducks 4th of July sale. We're offering this t-shirt and this hat as one little bundle in itself. Only $35 for these two products. These identical products, they come in a package together, 35 bucks. This is a $50 value big savings guys so if you guys want to get any of our american freedom gear before the fourth of july if you want to make sure you have it by the fourth of july you have to order by this sunday so sunday the 23rd you have to have your orders in to have your stuff by the fourth of july fifty dollar value thirty five bucks check out the hat you guys actually voted on this hat we had you guys vote on the uh, ducks instagram page we're like which one do you like better the black or the gray and y'all voted black but even if you don't like this dope little package that you're gonna save a bundle of money on all of our american gear is 15 percent off through the 4th of July. So I will link all of our American gear down at the top of the description down below. Make sure you go grab you this bundle because it really is one heck of a deal. All right, let's uh, get into why I chose mason jars. So Beth and I, we went up to Minneapolis, Minnesota. A lot of you guys went with us. <laughs> and uh, Dan, Dan Compton up there, <clears throat> a lot of you also met Dan. He said, Bobby, you should do a at what distance how far is a shotgun shell deadly he was like but you should slim it down you should you should rock the 410 and you should use lead shot versus tungsten and really see the difference between lead and tungsten and how much farther tungsten is deadlier tungsten's heavier than lead but it's way heavier than steel i was like well how do you test that what do i got to do get balloons and walk out a hundred yards he was like no man I've never tried it but I've heard a lot of stories from back in the old days these birds are going crazy that people used to use mason jars to test distance of kill ability in shotgun shells I was like really mason jars he was like yeah I think just because they're really thick they're a tough glass and I'm like, okay, well that makes sense. He was like, but what should happen, you should be able to get at that distance where the lead 410 shell will not break the mason jar any longer. And he was like, that's when you pull out your tungsten shell and it should destroy it. So we're gonna sit this bad boy right, right there. That's, that'll be good. Good little spot where I can clean up all my glass. I am gonna have to clean up all the glass, of course. Uh, but we're gonna start out, I think we're gonna start out at like, I wanna start between 30 and 40 yards because we all know at 30 yards, that 410 is gonna destroy that mason jar. <clears throat> but my guess, my guess is I think we're gonna get to about 70 yards, 80 yards with the 410 before that mason jar is gonna stop breaking on us. But this is a really neat, neat little experiment provided by Dan Compton at Federal. Uh, it, it was an awesome idea. Now, we are using the 410. A lot of us use a 12 gauge, I know, 
but it's still going to show us that deadly range. You know what I mean? Because even if the 410 gets out to, let's say, 70 or 80 yards before it stops destroying the mason jar, we can still relate that into a 12 gauge. You know what I mean? A 12 gauge, if, if this goes 80 yards, I'm sure a 12 gauge would go, I don't know, 100, 120 yards. But we're about to find out. All right, guys. Just walked it out. <clears throat> we are right at 40 yards. Man, it looks a lot farther than 40 yards. With the 410, I want to start at a greater distance so we're not busting up a bunch of mason jars that I have to pick up. So I want to slim that down. So we're starting at 40 yards. This is a six shot lead. Might have missed it. Take two. Alright, it definitely busted there. You all have to drop a comment down below. What yardage am I going to get at where this 410 stops busting up these mason jars? Drop your comment down below and let me know. And if you guys have ever heard of this, also let me know down there in the comment section. Because when Dan told me about it, I was like, what? I have never heard that. But, yep, here she is. Smoked her pretty good. But I really hope you guys are glad that these little Mythbuster shotgun hunting videos are back. If you are glad they're back, you gotta hit that thumbs up button right now for your boy. Let's get this video over a thousand likes in a hurry, please. Because I'm gonna be coming at you guys with these videos every single week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to pump out a different one every single week for you guys. So if you guys have any, any ideas for these style of videos, by the end of this video, you have to leave it down below. You have to leave your idea down there. That's where I get a lot of these ideas. It's from you guys. Alrighty guys, I know we're not going 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 yards. There's no reason to. That's why I started out at 40. Now we are sitting right at 50 yards. It's really, really far. It looks too far for this 410 to be quite honest. But like I said, whenever we get to that golden yardage where I go through two, three, four, five regular six shot lead shells and it's not breaking. We're going to bust out that tungsten shot. So, 50 yards. Didn't break it that time. And I know I hit it. Woo! Still didn't break it. Wow, we have to go check this out. That's three shots and I am not seeing it break. I'm gonna go see if we can see any markings on the glass that are getting peppered by the lead shot here because um, I have to be hitting it. Check it out. Not much for markings to be completely honest with you. Hmm, 50 yards with, uh, with a 410 is iffy as it is i mean that's just sketchy that's a sketchy long distance there um i'm gonna take a couple more shots at 50 yards and see if we can get it broke here because something tells me 50 yards a 410 ought to be deadlier farther than 50 yards wouldn't you think with normal lead shot 50 yards might be it i don't know we're gonna try it a couple more times though just to make sure I know I'm hitting it. I know I'm hitting it. I know that one actually hit it because I've seen the leaf behind it move. Uh, this is why I love these experiments right here. You always find something out. You always learn something. Whenever we come out here, I learn something. Check it out. So, it, look what it did. It basically just cracked it. It didn't completely bust it. What I did was went and got a piece of cardboard, put it behind it. Hopefully it'll stay up there. Basically the cardboard I'm gonna have behind the mason jar, just for a secondary target behind our main target to see if our pellets are actually making it there. But as you can tell, it did not get completely destroyed. I would say 50 yards 
is almost that point for the old 410 with lead shot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put that there. I'm gonna get a new mason jar, put it on there. That really tells me a lot. 50 yards, we're definitely getting to that point with the 410. So basically a mason jar is supposed to imitate our skin. They say mason jars are just at that right durability to where if they penetrate it and they break that glass, it's basically the same as if the pellet were to penetrate your skin. So, alrighty guys, we're sitting right at 60 yards. Hair shorter than what I figured the uh, maximum distance was gonna be. I figured it'd be about 70 yards, so we're right there. My guess is really close. So here we go, 60 yards. All right, I wanna check that. The reason why I wanna check it is because now I have that cardboard behind that mason jar and I seen it move, I'm pretty sure. So I don't wanna go taking a ton of shots without seeing what we're working with, you know? What do you guys think? You think it, uh, you think it broke it? Think it did anything to it? Uh-oh, look at that. Same deal. Just broke the front of it out. Didn't even go all the way through the back. Check that out. See, it just cracked the back a little bit. Oh yeah, and check it out, our backboard's doing exactly what it's supposed to. 60 yards, it's deadly at 60 yards. All right, so now we're moving to 70. 70 yards, you know when I was first shooting it at 50 yards, it wasn't like falling over, broken. It was just basically cracking it. So each shot, I'm gonna have to go look at it, you know what I mean? So we're at 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Holy smokes, that's far. Alrighty, guys, we are at 70 yards. That is really, really far. Uh, when you're actually sitting at 70 yards with a 410, you're just like, there's no way. There's no way you could kill a bird at 70 yards with a 410. But Let's see what it does to the old mason jar. 70 yards, right here. All right, I know it hit, uh, I know it hit the cardboard, so let's go check it out. So, real quick, while we're walking to see what that 70 yarder did, this goes in relation. This is hand in hand with public duck hunting, guys. This shows you how far you need to be away from another group of duck hunters beside you. Uh, I always hear people say, well, you know what, when I pull in and there's other hunters around, I always make sure I give them 100 yards. I always make sure I set up 100 yards away from them. Well, guys, not only at even 100 yards are you gonna be jacking up their hunt, but at 100 yards with a 12 gauge or maybe a 10 gauge, I really think it's still pretty deadly. If not deadly, you can still get hurt. Getting peppered at 100 yards with a 12 gauge, with let's say a three and a half inch shell, with let's say a full choke or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, or what if they had tungsten shot in at 100 yards? It could be, very well could be, extremely deadly. So, check it out. Our mason jar did not break. I don't see really any scuffs on it anywhere, but I do see new holes on our cardboard. I'm gonna do a couple individual shots here, run back and forth to make sure 70 yards is our golden distance. But again, guys, public hunt. When you're talking about people sitting across from you or down downwind where your shot could be hitting them, just think, a 12 gauge with even a three inch shell in there, it's not safe. Even if you accidentally pepper them or if you're getting peppered yourself, I can tell you right now, it's not gonna feel good. Oof, that was right on target, we better check it. Man, this glass, it just really doesn't show any nicks or anything very badly. It almost looks like there's one right there but it did not break, fellas. I think we're getting there. I'd say 70 to 80 yards with a 410 
is going to be your sweet spot for sure i'm going to take one more shot if it doesn't break it we'll throw in the tungsten load and see the difference we shot it i don't know this is probably going to be the fifth time shooting it at 70 yards so here it is right here i'm gonna go check all righty just checked her it did not break and you can tell it got hit so 70 75 yards is about what we're sitting at time to put in the federal tungsten heavyweight load this is the federal tss tungsten load uh i'm hoping that the first shot just blows it just just smokes it right on over let's see here better go check it oh look at that look at that perfect perfect outcome check it out one hole two holes same mason jar baby there we go perfect example right there that is exactly what I wanted to happen. That's exactly what Dan said would happen. That's awesome. So, we actually accomplished two things in this video today. One is to see what distance a uh, shotgun is deadly at. Now, I know, again, guys, I know, we used a 410. A lot of people don't use 410. It's a smaller gauge. It's not as deadly as far. Look, guys, I didn't want to be sitting out here with a 12 gauge at 120 yards trying to hit a mason jar with some wind involved not good you know what i mean so we had to slim it down make it a little bit more manageable and we did that was that was perfect it literally played out exactly how i figured it would so all in all our data that we got was a 410 is gonna hurt you at 60 yards it'll still penetrate your skin if it'll kill you at 60 yards, I don't know. But at 70 to 80 yards, it's unlikely to even penetrate your skin. So, but the second thing we learned today was lead versus tungsten. A lot of you out there have told me, Bobby, do some tungsten review videos. I want to know how good tungsten performs. What's all the big hype about tungsten, Bob? Hey, I'm only one man out here. I didn't know that much about tungsten. The only thing I knew is that it was for sure heavier. But this test today proves our point. Because as waterfowlers, what do we have to use? We have to use steel. Steel is actually lighter than lead, and lead is lighter than tungsten. So a lot of you, before you even drop that comment down there, be like, Bobby, you should have used steel. Steel's harder, steel's heavier. No, steel is the lightest out of all three elements. So, tungsten is the heaviest. Tungsten will travel the farthest. Tungsten will be the deadliest that you can use. It will go the farthest. It will do the most damage at the farthest distance. Y'all catch my drift. I am so glad to be out here though for our shotgun test, our Mythbuster videos out here. I've missed them so much. If you guys have missed them, you gotta hit that thumbs up for your boy right now. Let's get this video over a thousand likes. If we can get it over a thousand likes, I promise you on my entire life, I will bring you a shotgun Mythbuster test video just like this, whether we're doing something dumb, crazy, or <laughs> something like this. I will bring you one video every single week no matter what. Let's get this video over a thousand likes. And again, order your Ducks American Freedom packages by Sunday. This Sunday, you gotta have them ordered if you want your stuff by July 4th, y'all. And all of our American gear on the entire Ducks site is gonna be 15% off through July 4th. As well as this package, it'll be available through July 4th. You just won't get it in time if you don't order it by Sunday. But I will link all this gear down in the description below, actually at the top of that bad boy. Oh, better pick up all my empties I got everywhere. We went through some ammo today, boys. I went through about a box of normal lead shot and only one, one shell, one tungsten shell. Not bad, right? <laughs> but big shout out to Federal Ammunition uh, for hooking me up with all of the premium ammunition that I use here on the channel. But most of all, Thank you to you guys, all you viewers out there, for being interested in what I do. Uh, these shotgun videos, I love them. You guys have missed them. 
I've missed them a ton. I'm glad they're back. We're gonna do some crazy stuff together really soon. We're gonna get them popping, y'all. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know why you haven't. And be sure to turn on that little notification bell right down there in the corner. Turn it on. It'll notify you every time I upload. But thank you all for being here. We will see you on the next one. Got a girl that keeps it real